I was wondering if you wanted to come over and get down on some cake. Ugh, that's not something anyone says. Oh, I didn't know you knew my... Anyway, uh, if, if you like parties, then I'm, I was gonna do a party. What? What I was trying to say is if you're not doing anything tonight, but I, I, I'm sure you probably are doing something tonight, and you like cake, like I like cake, I've got a cake at my house. Means I have a lead. Actually, it's Officer Hobbs, and I'm here to ask you some questions about a case. Actually, it's your word against yours. And if you want this pen, you're going to help me find this poor missing otter, or the only place you'll be selling popsicles is the prison cafeteria. All right. <laughs> now listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. Fear is a four-letter word, ladies. If you want to go pee-pee in your big boy slacks, keep it to yourself. We are humanity's black hope. Our mission? Destroy all cyborgs. How long I've waited to hear the sound of another voice. How may I serve you? I'm not lying. I never lie, perhaps. Tell me what you need. And I will help you. Alright, what's up, Castle's computer? I'm the Red Paladin, Lance. But you can call me Sharpshooter. So my friends call me. What I'm about to share with you are some of the most important memories in all of space history. And they include me. Yeah, I mean, I've always had such a way with women. And even though Alora hasn't come out and said she likes me or whatever yet, I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, she's great. I mean, she probably thinks I'm great and strong and, and pretty. I mean, not pretty, pretty, I mean, hey. Is there, a, is there, computer, is there a delete button on here? Without Ahsoka's foresight, I fear things would have gone quite differently. We're bounty hunters, paid to stop me from voting against the troop increase. Not more important, but important. The work I do, the work we both do, is in service to the Republic, to protect those who would otherwise be powerless to protect themselves. Dash! Get out of your sister's bubble. <clears throat> it was a hundred degrees in the shade. I walked for five days with no water. Then I saw it. A pretty pond. I bent down to take a drink when these crocs launched out of the water. One croc bit me on the face. Ain't no way I wasn't at supper. Except for one thing. I wasn't ready for dying that day. I bit one croc in half, tail whipped the other, and the last one, well, I drowned that croc in my own blood. Whoa. Dang! If you ain't scared of a croc biting you on the face, you ain't alive. Listen, kid, you can't get rid of fear. It's like Mother Nature. You can't beat her or outrun her. But you can get through it. You can find out what you're made of. It's not one simple thing, it's all the things. They just had to come together, you know? It's like, I used to hold the power of the sky in my hand, right? But now that's gone. But Rayla, the whole world is like a giant primal stone, and we're inside it. Yes, and, and, and I kept thinking about birds and sails and how they connect to the wind, and I thought I had to find my wings. I brought back parsnips. I'm going to make hazelnut soup for dinner. Your favorite surprise! Oh. Enough of the lights, Rapunzel! You are not leaving this tower! Ever! Oh, great. Now I'm the bad guy. Yeah, well, normally I'm a tad more indestructible. Must have been the, uh... <gasps> Oh, it's styrofoam. That stuff, it weakens me. No. Are we gonna have any more problems, cat? Okay, you have two seconds to tell me what you've implanted in me, cat. Poison? A parasite? Poison? Oh, no, I just said that, didn't I? See, I'm all discombobulated. I can't think straight. 